Okay, so today we're going to learn how to band, uh, put a band on a high boy using a table runner. You can also use a chair tie with this, but for this purpose we're going to use an actual table runner. So you're going to need pens. We use these uh, corsage pens like this, but you can also use a tea head pen. And you can come in here a little closer. So what we're going to do is start off by laying out your runner on the tabletop. Now you'll see that there's a little bit of a, there's a seam here on the edge of this runner. So we want to make sure that that seam doesn't show. So we're going to, we're going to start the pinning right there where the seam is. So you're going to line the seam up with the edge of the table. You take, take your corsage pin and you're just going to stick it through the runner and into the tablecloth so that it holds that runner in place. Then we'll get the next pin, come a few inches farther down, and we're going to do that again. And a few inches farther down, we'll do it again. And so on and so forth. And we're going to take a, I'm going to let you take a little break while I finish this up, and we'll come back and show you how to uh, finish, a, finish it off. Okay, so now we've uh, pinned this all the way around, you see, and then we've come back to where we started. And you see we have some extra fabric left over here. So to make this join look uh, nice and look more or less seamless, what we want to do is to make sure that whatever overlaps is shorter than what we did before. So when we pin this portion after the overlap, what we're going to do is just pin it going to slide the runner down the table and pin it there so that when we flip it over it's much shorter and, it, and the uh, excess will be hidden by what we've already done. So there's a couple. One more here at the end. Okay, and once you have everything pinned into place all you're going to do is just gently fold down all the fabric on the tabletop and pull it down nice and snug so it hangs straight down. And you see you have the join here, where you have this join where it joined, where the two ends come together. And to finish this off, all you have to do is take one more pin, match up, match up the uh, match up the two ends at the bottom, and we're just going to stick a pin through and back, and pin those two together so that they're joined at the bottom. And if you've got, like we have here, just a little bit of a gap. In the middle, we can come in here and we can do this one more time just to kind of hold it all together. Okay? But, as you see, this is what you end up with. Like I said, you can use a chair tie, you can use a runner, or just a piece of raw fabric, depending on how big you want your band to be. But that's how you do this, and we're done.